All right, welcome back everyone to Plant-Based Kidney Health. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi. My partner is Michelle Crosmer. Thanks so much for coming back, guys, to check out this episode. So, Michelle, the question we got this time was biotin supplementation. Specifically, what about folks who have kidney disease? Should they be taking biotin? Okay, so biotin is a water-soluble B vitamin that generally is safe for people with kidney disease of all stages, really, to be supplementing, but there are some very um, important key parts of it, so please listen to the whole episode. Um, So first of all, biotin is, we normally think of people supplementing with this for hair, skin, and nail health. Um, you know, common symptoms of biotin deficiency are uh, thinning hair, rashes around the eyes, the nose, the mouth, um, brittle nails. And so if someone is deficient in biotin, then of course, supplementing can help raise those levels and can also help with those symptoms. Um, It's actually interesting that in people who aren't deficient in biotin, that supplement with biotin, the evidence isn't super strong that it's going to make their hair thicker or make their nails stronger, but it's typically something that's not harmful um, to be supplementing. Of course, what you want to, oh, there is another use of biotin, um, sometimes is used in dialysis patients for helping with muscle cramps. So that's another possible use for kidney disease. Um, and really safety wise, the biggest reason someone would not want to take biotin is if they are allergic to it, or if someone's allergic to B12, then oftentimes they're also allergic to biotin. How much biotin does someone need? So what's recommended is about 30 micrograms a day, more for pregnant and um, lactating women, but around 30 micrograms a day, typically in a renal specific vitamin or B complexes, you'll see anywhere from 30 up to 300 to 500 micrograms as the dose of biotin. And again, it's a water soluble B vitamin. So it's often included in kidney specific vitamins and B complexes. Um, Where you see very high doses of biotin is in those separate hair, skin, and nail vitamins. And sometimes those are 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 plus micrograms of biotin. And where this is, I'd say one of the most important things is when you are having high doses, high supplemental doses of biotin, it can actually interfere with some labs. So things like thyroid labs, parathyroid, um, and even vitamin D. So that's important to know because if you're taking a high dose biotin, a thousand micrograms or more, then it's recommended to stop taking that biotin supplement a few days leading up to that lab work. Um, that way it's not impacting your, your labs. I think overall, if biotin is, if you're not allergic to it and you, it's part of your comp B complex or part of your renal vitamin that you're taking, that's again, anywhere in that 30 to 300, 500 microgram dose, then that's generally what is um, a normal supplemental intake and safe for most people. I would say before you take very high doses, a thousand micrograms or more, one, check with your doctor and make sure that that's okay for you to be taking that high of dose. But definitely um, you would want to stop taking that a few days up leading up to lab work. So it's not impacting those labs, specifically thyroid and parathyroid labs. Anything to add to that, Dr. Hashmi, on biotin? No, I think I need to uh, supplement some myself. Um, <laughs> any Anything to get my, you know, I, I used to have a really nice hairstyle and I, I miss my hair. I really do. <gasps> Excellent. All right. There you guys have it on biotin. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.